As with most problems of this type, we can solve this problem by doing the following steps. First, we need to express the force given to us in Cartesian form. Then we need to express the axis where we calculate the moment as a unit vector. Lastly, we need a position vector from the origin to where the force begins. Once we have these three things, we just need to do a triple scalar product. So let's go through this step by step. Let's write down the locations of each of the points in Cartesian form. First, point A. Next, point B. Now point C, which is also our origin. And lastly, point D. To express our force in Cartesian form, we need to write a position vector from where the force originates to where it leads. In this question, we can see that it starts at A and goes towards B. Remember that with position vectors, we subtract the location of the second coordinate by the first coordinate. So our position vector AB is negative 6i plus 4j plus 12k. Next, we need to figure out the magnitude of this position vector. Now that we have the magnitude, we can write a unit vector. It is now time to express the force in Cartesian form by multiplying the force by the unit vector, which gives us negative 60i plus 40j plus 120k. That's the first step done. Now we need to write the axis where we calculate the moment as a unit vector, which is axis CD. To do that, we need to do almost everything we just did all over again. So we need a position vector from C to D. Our position vector CD is 0i plus 8j plus 6k. Next, we need the magnitude of this position vector. Now we can write down the unit vector. That's the second step finished. The last thing we need is a position vector from the origin to where the force begins. In this problem, that's from C to A. So our position vector CA is 6i plus 0j plus 0k. We now have all the pieces required, so it is time to do a triple scalar product. If you don't know how to do this, I've included a link in the description on how to solve one step by step. When we solve it, we get our answer. Notice how it is negative, which simply means that the moment acts opposite to the unit vector CD that we chose. I hope this helped, and if it did, please give a thumbs up. Thanks.